trying to push back the barriers here on Sky Sports. With that in mind, our live football on Wednesday night was from the European Cup. The first round, first leg tie between Rangers and Levski Sofia. Rangers so close last year, could they do it this season? Here comes another chance to see the match. Commentators Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. If Rangers do achieve their ambition to be kings of Europe, the palace is already built. £29 million pounds spent on developing Ibrox over the last five years. And that's not been at the expense of investment in the team. Duncan Ferguson, the £4 million pound purchase from Dundee United, has his European baptism tonight. So too does Ali Maxwell, the goalkeeper, who's filled the gap left by Andy Gorham's injury. With the late withdrawal of Richard Goff with a groin problem, Stuart McCall is captain. McCall's own determination to play, swaying Walter Smith towards taking the risk with him so soon after surgery. Ian Durant, only a substitute on Saturday against Partick, is in from the start. No Mikhailichenko, no Haustra, the three permitted foreigners, the England trio of Gary Stevens, Trevor Stevens and Mark Hakeley. Andy. Well, as you can imagine, Martin, I'm going to deal mainly with this Ranger side and what they're going to try and do tonight. Having a word downstairs with Walter Smith. Two positions are important when they're playing at home. David Robertson and Gary Stevens. He wants particularly Gary Stevens to be forced on the outside of Trevor Stevens to get up forward as much as he can. Obviously, David Robertson the same on that side. The reason he wants Gary Stevens to do that is he's, he's not been happy with Derek Ferguson and Mark Hatley as a duo up front. He's Duncan felt Ferguson. Duncan, sorry. He's felt they were a duo and they've kept going for the same ball, looking for the same things. So he hasn't been able to do that. What he wants Ferguson to do is to play wide, but to be available for any cross-field balls from Gary Stevens for Duncan Ferguson at the back post. Levski, Sofia have had to leave behind their captain Nasko Sirikov. His replacement is number eight. 32-year-old Sasha Markov has been brought back to the defence for his knowledge of this type of tie. Those two changes apart, it is the side which Walter Smith's number two, Archie Knox, saw on Saturday. They beat Slavia, Sofia, to go to the top of Bulgaria's first division. Tim Milton from Denmark, who refereed Rangers last season in the European Cup in the Champions League, part of it. It's a perfect night for football after a spell of wet and windy weather in Glasgow. An early header for Stephen Presley, a late replacement for Richard Goff. He's wearing number six, a call number four. Levski have changed their side considerably from last season. And straight away, they might uh, be wondering whether they've got to change the team from the starting formation. Well, they went down as if he'd been shot there. That's Kremenliev. I think you can see, I think Mark Hatley's trailing leg there, just caught him on the side. I hope that's not a sign of things to come up. At the slightest touch, players are riding about like that. Kremenliev, who made his international debut last Wednesday for Bulgaria in the World Cup against Sweden. It looks as though Bulgaria will miss out on qualification. Sweden and France, the form horses in that particular group. I'll tell you what's going to be interesting for the Bulgarians early on. They've got two specific markers picked to play. And at the moment, Mark Hate is occupying three players. And if that continues, that can only be good for Rangers. Well, certainly Rangers expect man-to-man -man marking really all over the pitch at the moment. The Bulgarians haven't worked out exactly the lineup well, of number, the Scottish champions. Number nine, Slavchev, and number five, Markov, who would be the Markov normally. And if Ian Durant just plays in that little withdrawing position, it'll be interesting to see if one of the Markovs drops and picks him up. Well, that has happened straight away. Markov is taking Durant. So they have sorted it out to that extent. Here's Trevor Stephen. Hatley. Gary Stevens, a little English triangle there. And Trevor Stephen has come into the reckoning if he has a good month. There's a vacant midfield spot for England in Holland in the World Cup. Well, I know Trevor as I do. 
from years and years ago, Mark. I've always believed that he was a type of player that should be contesting an England place every time as an international. He's certainly got that ability. Harry Stevens, who didn't play at all in Rangers' European campaign last season because of injury. Duncan Ferguson is so good in the air. Starting on the left-hand side. And not as you might have expected in a pairing up front with Mark Haitley. They've been playing like that recently and it hasn't really worked for Leeds Walter Smith. Partly because Ferguson, by his own admission, is only about 90% fit at the moment. He came here with injury problems. A legacy from last season. McPherson. Here's Duncan Ferguson. He was caught there by Todorov. That's one of those that could be really nasty. Luckily, Stuart McCall just managed to pull out of it. You see there, Todorov's committed himself to the tackle. Stuart McCall's stable to stop his follow through. And from David Robinson. Away by Vankov. Doing the goalkeeper. It's only his second start in the Levski goal. But he did play for the new coach here, Georgi Fasilev. And they were together with the previous club, Etar, that won the championship. And as I said a moment or two ago, it is a much changed Levski Sofia side from that which actually won the title at the end of last season. Five new players from the 11 starting this game. Here's Duncan Ferguson. He'd love to get his first goal tonight. It's his seventh game in Rangers colours. Looking to be a provider, though, here. Durant beaten in the air in the centre. Here's Presley. Now McPherson. Back from Ian Ferguson. so impressive about Rangers in Europe last season was that they did seem to play a continental style. I know that, Martin, but I, I'm just thinking early on in the game here at Ibrox, and when you look at the height advantage Duncan Ferguson has over Kremenliev in that area, I would be very, very tempted early on in the game if I was on the touchline to be getting a message to my back players and say, listen, if you get a chance, look for Duncan Ferguson. Get people up and support him, because we expect him to win most of this kind of ball. Just like that. It's a tactic that we've seen from Leeds United with Gary Speed playing on the left-hand side and climbing to direct headers across goal. He's been very much in the news recently, Duncan Ferguson. Well, he'll be wanting to create headlines of a different game tonight, won't he? He's certainly got the ability to do that. Tremendous. <laughs> holding uh, ahead of him. It's a good uh, tackle back by Ferguson. But... David Robertson was having a rare old tussle. We've got him Milos. Yakov. He scored twice in the league on Saturday, although he's really a holding midfield player. And quickly was Presley. The interact. Presley again. This bean pole of a defender definitely has the responsibility for Hakele. For Mendes, though, does look vulnerable in the air against the shorter Duncan Ferguson. And Gary Stevens might seek that out now across a poor one. Yeah, that was quick thinking from Ian Durant on the free kick. Looked up, saw Duncan Ferguson appeal to the back post against the and knocked it in immediately. Turn off another of the current Bulgarian internationals in the Levski side. Warrior number four and pushing on down the left hand side from left back. Touched on by Duncan Ferguson, well anticipated by Durant, who's made a typically lively start. 
the call. There's no offside here, but there's no ball either for Heitley. It drops beyond him. Well, that's three times now. The Bulgarian side have tried to push out to catch Rangers offside, and three times have failed. Well, I must say, it's quite an attacking Levski lineup. They lost Sirikov, their star from the 86 World Cup finals, their captain, who was injured on Saturday. They have replaced him with another out and out forward. They are playing with two up, but it's the defence that's under question here with Durant. Haitley can try and tee up Trevor Stephen. But that's what we've been looking to do. Get both full backs forward if they can. This is Rigorash, who's a Romanian. Number 10 Todorov back in Bulgaria after two seasons in the French first division. Jankov lost his footing. Stephen looking early for Haitley. He's got away from Slavchev for a moment. There's no cover on the marker there, but Haitley could get in behind him. Four. Rangers currently only fifth in the Premier Division. Out of sorts in the league. Although they are in the semi-finals of the League Cup, they play Celtic here next Wednesday night. Got <laughs> Milov, looking for Todorov. And it's certainly not a policy of just getting players behind the ball from the Bulgarians. Well, it is when they lose it, that's a certainty. They can drop players back very quickly, as many behind the ball as they can, but you're right, once they have possession, We've looked early on and we're breaking forward very quickly. And with numbers, which is perhaps even more surprising. Sasha Markov, who was also in the World Cup squad in 86 in Mexico, 32 years old now. Looking a bit like Harpo Markov. <laughs> you see lots of that from Markers. Man for man Markers, Martin. They're quite prepared to give away three kicks all over the pitch. Free kick to Rangers. And first we'll reach it! And it was, well, off the line when the goal looked there for Rangers and how they would have loved to have had the lift of a strike inside the opening 10 minutes. McPherson so close to supplying it. Well, I thought that was past the goalkeeper and out came his left hand. I think it was his left hand that came out and just swatted the ball away, basically. For all, for all the world, that looked like it was just about to nestle in the net. But the, the promising thing will be the marking is absolutely abysmal. Bends it in wonderfully. Now look, the goalkeeper comes, goes back, sticks up his left hand, and basically swats it away with a little bit of help from the sweeper Hubchev. So they needed Hubchev there. Duncan Ferguson going in and behind him. Hatley trying to scoop to conquer them. I mean, yes, play the ball about, yes, be patient. But I think for what we've seen in the first 10 minutes or so, Rangers are going to get some joy tonight if they can put balls into the box, whether it be set pieces or in free play. At first, Duncan Ferguson just helping it on down the line. Slavchev alongside Hakele. It'll be like that for the remainder of the evening on the suspect. From NEF. Throw to Rangers. It will be. There's no way that they'll want Markov to be caught on Mark Hately with a height difference. So it will be Slavchev who will follow Hately everywhere. Ian Ferguson, he's been in good goal scoring form, particularly in cup ties. And very nearly making his mark here in the European Cup itself. It's lovely link up play. Great vision from Durant with a little knockdown. A fabulous backing up play from midfield. And he really has got a shot like a mule lead Ferguson when he hits him. The only thing he did wrong for me is I think I'm missing the target. And Ian Ferguson who took Rangers into the semi-final of the League Cup with a terrific strike here against Aberdeen. Haitley free to guide it down. Durant recognised that and get in across quickly here. That was Ian Ferguson again ducking in. I like to see now in European games, the home team 
just building up a little bit of pressure and sustaining it. And Ferguson turning beautifully. Just out of the reach of Gary Stevens and out of play. He's unlucky. It looked like he was about to be crowded out, Ian Ferguson, but a lovely turn. And almost found Gary Stevens. It is in goal scoring that Rangers have been at below par this season, just seven in six league games. You do feel that can only get better. left the area that the ball went into at the wrong time for the Bulgarian champions. Stevens. Pressing. Way out here for David Robertson. He's only 24, but playing for the seventh season in European competition. He's started with Aberdeen. Get him across in from here if he wants. Hatley gave him an option. He got it onto his strong left foot. Fired away. But Mordoon, this Ukrainian goalkeeper, was taking up the right angle position there. Lovely skill from Mark Hatley. Really was. Robertson. Hatley and Durant going for the same ball. A bit of pushing by Duncan Ferguson. But Morgan made this look rather e easier than it seemed to save. Todorov. Got a meal off. Stephen. Let's just have a look at the build-up again with the ball into Haitley's feet rather than across. It's worth it to see the skill here. Look at that. Lovely little drag back there. Hits that well enough, but fortunately for Morgun, it's straight down his throat. Yankov. The pass going to the left, but that had no chance of reaching him. Stephen for Durant. A little sloppy and the crowd reacted adversely to it. Rangers still have the ball in the first 15 minutes gone. Funny enough, well, Martin, when the Bulgarians go forward like that, and as you said, they, they are throwing, are prepared to throw one or two numbers up there. And if Rangers win the ball back early, if they're a little bit quicker in the build up, a little bit more positive earlier. just having a word with Bori Milov. Robertson. Cleared by Markov. McPherson has come closest so far to giving Rangers the lead. Robertson. Bori Milov in quickly again. 23 years old, played three times already for Bulgaria. A country that the Scottish fans were grateful to only a couple of years ago when they held Romania to allow Scotland to go into the European Championship finals for the first time. Stevens. Ferguson let it run and he couldn't really have had a call to do that. There was no chance of McCall getting the ball. Toddler off. Return off. Yakov. Sweeper Kukchev. Little tight for Toddler off on the far side. Certainly, Levski, Sofia, playing the way that 
Walter Smith and Archie Knox would have suggested to the Rangers team after the spying missions. For their part, the Bulgarians have had one of their coaches over here for 10 days now. And he's going to stay on for another week to get more information for the second leg. But first, here's a beautiful surface on which to pass the ball, but Rangers not doing it effectively then. This is Grigorash, there's a ball on, across the face of the penalty area to Todorov, and he didn't recognise it quickly enough, otherwise Rangers would have been in real trouble. I to thank Stuart McCall for not committing himself forward, just filled in when David Ferguson went past him, and that was a vital decision from Stuart McCall. Given away by Grigorash again. Levski get the ball, they're prepared to have three players up very quickly and supported from midfield, but here's a galloping run from Robertson, that's a useful cross to the type that Hately thrives on. Well, that's better, that's, a, that's the kind of pace at times that Rangers have got to inject in the game. Because David Robertson took the initiative, decided I'll go on my own, and fired in a very good quality cross. There's a little look early, knows where he wants to play it, goes into an area, say to Mark Hately, go on, go and attack it. He can't keep his head up, guys. Duncan Ferguson. Hey, Clay. Coming here. Putting a foot in, but Durant taking out for Rangers, and Paul coming up in support. Ahead of him is Trevor Stephen. Rangers can just have a look at Kaysen and Martin when they have the ball in the, in the last third about 30 40 yards from goal. When Trevor Stephen tucks in from the right, Gary Stephen has absolutely acres on the right hand side of the field. If someone just looks up and is prepared to switch the play. Stephen. And Gary Stephen is such a fine athlete. Still really getting himself back in prime condition, having missed so much of last season. And indeed the start of this. Roberts. Certainly the Bulgarians defending very deep. And allowing Rangers to hover on the edge of the area there. Go back into that area, but Durant this time is offside. The left pack of possession ranges up to 30, 40 yards from goal. And that's when the final ball is vital. And the most concentration is required when you're delivering that final ball. Lennox Lewis, WBC champion of the world. Frank Bruno, the number one contender. On October the 1st, the question must be answered. Become a part of sports history as it happens. Lewis Bruno, live only on Sky Sports. For Nigel Mansell, it's racing excitement with speed sound. Nigel's in front. He roars past the control tower. Watch out. Squeeze track. Nigel takes the lead. Last lap. Approaching the checkered flag. He's won. New Formula Tyco speed sound with real racing sound. selected and prepared with the vitamins and minerals he needs every day. Caesar, to love him like he loves you. Meet Scratchy. Who? Scratchy, he may look pretty ordinary, but he's done something outstanding. What? He's found out how he could win anything from a fiver to ten thousand pounds while sitting in a chair. In a chair? Yeah. How can I do it? Just find a phone, sit down, dial 0891 and answer a few true or false false statements correctly, and you could win anything from five pounds to ten thousand pounds. Hey, where are you going? To find a phone. Scratch it, the new phone game where you could win up to ten thousand pounds. Just dial 0891 now.
I find your microbes fascinating. You do? They cause the dandruff. So that's why you offered to wash my hair. Why else? But I thought... Actually, I want to wash half in a medicated anti-dandruff shampoo and half in Head & Shoulders to show that Head & Shoulders neutralizes more of the microbes that cause dandruff. Look, on this side... Still dandruff. But with Head & Shoulders... Nothing. Except beautiful hair. How can I thank you? Dinner, perhaps? Not tonight. I'm washing my hair. Head & Shoulders doesn't half shift dandruff. I couldn't believe that Pampers could be beaten for skin dryness until I found a new nappy. And then I found that these Pampers baby dry were brilliant, unbelievable. As a nursery deputy and Anna's mum, I feel that skin dryness is very important to me. In the morning, before I use Pampers baby dry, she's generally a bit clammy, you know, a bit wet. Introducing new Pampers baby dry. Only Pampers baby dry has this unique baby dry layer that lets wetness right through and then turns white again, helping to keep baby dry. Every morning since I've been using Pampers Baby Dry, she has been dry and her skin's been very soft and dry as well. It's so unbelievable, it really is. I think it's the, it's the children in, in my nursery wearing Pampers Baby Dry nappies. We are, we're talking about dry bottoms all over the place, all day. It'd be wonderful. New Pampers Baby Dry for the driest, happiest babies. Leo Lemke went fishing and returned with the most unlikely catch. This is my bride. Their destiny was written in the stars. Leo's married to a clear boy. Jeff Daniels and Demi Moore as... The butcher's wife. No more this hocus pocus. Fate brought them together, but true love kept them apart. Would you fancy meeting a cuddly middle-aged man? The Butcher's Wife, the television premiere, Sunday night at 8 on the Movie Channel. This autumn on Sky One, the miniseries looks simply sensational. From Alex Haley, creator of Roots Comes Queen, a struggle against adversity to find acceptance and true love. Starring Danny Glover, Martin Sheen, and Halle Berry as Queen. Then from Sidney Sheldon's best-selling novel comes the action-packed miniseries of suspense, passion, and betrayal, The Sands of Time. From the Pulitzer Prize-winning author comes Return to Lonesome Dove. Starring John Voight, Lou Gossett Jr., Barbara Hershey, Ricky Schroeder, and Oliver Reed. Then comes a powerful miniseries that exposes the hidden early life of one of America's great heroes, JFK, Reckless Youth. Two family members are dead. Two family members are accused of murder. What kind of a monster would do that? Based on the terrifying true story, Bloodlines, Murder in the Family. The biggest miniseries this autumn are on Sky One. The Bulgarian clubs in Europe went out in the first round, the whitewash. Very determination in the country about not to happen again. The second leg will be played in the Levski Stadium where the national team play in Sofia. They could get as many as 65,000 if the game is within the reach of the Bulgarian club. The Rangers will feel that they've got to do some good work here tonight at Ibrox. Nil-nil so far. But there's been a lot of talk about the importance of keeping a clean sheet that's in the that's, home leg. That's the one thing you demand, first of all. And that's the one thing Walter Smith would have said. Listen, no matter what else happens, I want a clean sheet tonight. and darted on, hoping for a quick free kick for Rangers here. The ball has to go back for directing operations for the side he captains tonight in the absence of Richard Goff. We certainly do find some Ferguson. Hayley's come to be involved as well. Short free in Ferguson. And he'll be booked, Mark. The Bulgarian charger there will be booked. It's booked here. The number three is but You see there, he's only about five yards off the ball. The referee spotted it immediately. And had no hesitation. They're very quick on that in Europe. Anyone encroaching like that. So take two at this free kick for Rangers. And Markov now coming out saying perhaps that the ball's placed in the wrong position. He gets a yellow card as well. And now there's some collective anger from Levski. 
this referee who's very well thought of in UEFA refereeing circles. He's only 33. I think Marcos saying that the whistle had not gone, but nevertheless, why was he going in to get to the ball? So after two yellow cards for the players in yellow shirts, can Rangers really make them angry now by scoring? Hickley trying to steer it in. Managers hate that when they get free kicks in situations like that, 20, 30 yards from goal. And the goalkeeper's not called upon to make a save of any sort. Almost half an hour gone, Mark. I'd just like to have seen Morgan and the Sofia goal tested a little bit more. Very few questions being asked of him at the moment. As I say, he is a new goalkeeper for this team. With his first full game for them in the league on Saturday. It was a big question mark as to who would be the goalkeeper tonight. They've brought three over with them in a squad of 18. Getting the vote. Todorov. Grigorash. Well, he nearly came off for Lesky. It's the type of run that the crowd love here from McPherson. Duncan Ferguson on from the court. McPherson making the extra man. Robertson joining in. But now with two defenders out of position. Todorov trying to be the architect of a break here for Levski Sofia. Borimirov. Todorov. Rangers are back in force now, but they still need to get the ball. Todorov, who's been just a little laborious when Quicker passing. Might well have found a way to go. Bonnie Mirov presented with the ball by Robertson. Just got to be careful, Rangers, when they bring forward like that. They've got to have a little bit of discipline at the back still. Stephen. So much to be gained from European football in terms of prestige and fame around the continent. But of course, Financially as well. Hakley is onside, found by Ian Ferguson. He's not happy, Duncan Ferguson. Look at his face. But he won't be happy either, Mark Hakley, because he's better than this. Loses his marker totally. He's looking just to play it across the face of the goal. You see why Duncan Ferguson's upset. Because he also lost his marker in that port, near post area. It was completely free. Duncan Ferguson had a goal disallowed here against Partick on Saturday. He's hit the post three times in his previous appearances. Desperate to get off the mark. No handball. And Duffy lost. From Enlief for the throw. energy Yankov that's a hook Jeff Hately trying to dispossess the sweeper Yankov able to give him an avenue and looks to pass the ball from Edliev now Todorov well that was arguably their first real effort at goal it was mishit by Grigor Ash but what was more impressive was the build-up play. It gets in very easily for me as well. Gregor Ash walks into acres of space. Didn't have to do an awful lot to get in there. 
Roberts. Again, very deep defending by the Bulgarians. McCourt. Durant. Minkoff sliding in. Minkoff fouled by McCall. He hasn't played since the opening day of the season. That was August the 7th up here in Scotland. Picked up an injury that day, needed a hernia operation. Rather rushed back tonight. Oh, Durant. Got a boot in the face, but was ducking down in the mind of the referee. Todorov. Durant with his mind back on the job. Steven. First and again. This is not the first time he's given Levski a different kind of problem. And here's Duncan Ferguson. Drifting it towards Hakeley. And it comes to Gary Stevens. He's got time to set the sights. Pushed out by Mulgoon. And in the end, it flew safely for Levski Sofia across the penalty area and out of play. Well, that's the kind of area I was talking about. Gary Stevens can wander into almost at will. Number four, Svetanov, has been dragged back and he's been dragged in narrow. And that kind of area is there for Gary Stevens. Here's Durant for Hakeley. Morgan is out. The crowd wondering why Durant didn't go for goal himself. And maybe he's wondering that now. Presley. Here's Stephen. Gary Stevens with a cross. Header out by Markov. Well, you have to say, that looked as though the goal was there for the taking by one or the other of them. Well, this is a better attempt, in all honesty. It's a very tight angle from Gary Stevens, but he goes for goal. The Rangers don't have the luck of someone just there to knock it in. But this is a real chance. No offside there, no question of it. I thought Ian Durant is going to knock this in. But he didn't do Mark Hitley any favours by knocking it behind him. And the chance was lost. And what a chance. Well, Morgan has made two or three now. Very important contributions for Levski Sofia. Kupchev put it off the line. Markov, who has been booked. And Durant feels the referee's been lenient. The only nice thing you can see about this tackle is he got there as quickly as he could. Look at that. So late. Shot from Robertson. Sasha Markov is walking a dangerous line here. Look for not going back 10 yards of that earlier free kick, along with the player taking this goal kick, Kupchev. a couple of years ago and fell out with that club was involved in a long contract wrangle at which time he had spells on loan in England at Liverpool and Bolton Certainly by Ibrox standards. And here's Body Mirov. I think the silence him even more. Interesting, there's a player on Vendafilov on this near side. 
that's another little warning. It really is to Rangers. Well, Archie not dancing up and down on the bench. Clearly not happy with the way the team is performing. And Levski with plenty of confidence. It's Grigorash. They do believe they're a better side this season than they were when they won the Bulgarian Championship and they won it by eight points. Grigorash, one of the newcomers. The Romanian who played in the European Cup before in the 89-90 season for Stara Bucharest. Thomas Stephen, who's won a European medal, of course, with uh, Everton, along with Gary Stevens, along with Seth Justin on my right as well. <laughs> Seems such a long time ago. Well, it's more than eight years ago now. again from deep. Robertson. Here's Markov. Better by Presley. Well, uh, flicking it off. And a look as to where Duncan Ferguson was, but he has been asked, as we said at the start, to play wide on the left-hand side. And the only player, perhaps, who could have anticipated that, Ian Durant, who had ground to make up trying to get close to Hakeley from a deeper position I'd like to see Ian Ferguson catch him up a little bit quicker and, uh, I mean when the ball's played long for him to gamble like in that situation not only Duncan Ferguson the two strikers to be gambling but one of the central midfield players I think McCall's more of a holding player in there, but Ian Ferguson certainly has got the capabilities to break forward. I just feel he should be doing that or gambling a little bit more. Todorov. Well, it's a big night here in the European Cup. It's a big night on Wednesday, on Sunday, rather, big afternoon on Sunday in the FA Carling Premiership. Manchester United against Arsenal, the top two in the division, head-to-head -head at Old Trafford, live on Sky Sports. Stephen, Hayley's offside. It's been a stop-start sort of half for Rangers. Plenty of the ball. very close this you see that sweeper pushing out and when they cross like that it's a difficult decision for the linesman there wasn't an awful lot in that Levski went out in the first round of the cup from his cup a year ago for a Swiss second division side Lucerne the last six rounds of European matches. But they're beginning to believe here that this might not be the worst time to draw the mighty Rangers who have been out of sorts in their league. Without some key players, of course, Ali McCoyce, Andy Gorham, at the last minute tonight, Richard Goff, who's been making a lot of headlines up here in Scotland, but secretly married last week and then was far from secretive about his relationship with uh, Andy Roxburgh although the former Scotland boss had his own back I think by uh, announcing his resignation on the day that Richard Goss revelations were published in a local newspaper up here getting plenty of space for himself Borimiro There's a left back with plenty of attacking ideas. Kadafilov going in with a header. It was a weak one, but again, another wrap across the knuckles for Rangers, who you fear would be happy to get to half time and have a talk in the dressing room to sort one or two things out. I think Walter, Walter Smith will be anxious to get to half time because this team, the, the Bulgarian champions, have grown and grown and they've started as you say I think to believe that perhaps there's something more than just holding out for a nil-nil draw in this game for them and certainly in the last 10 minutes they've asked one or two questions of their own 
And all that could change. Panic could set in if Rangers could raise the roof here by getting the first goal of the tie. And soon. Hosted in by Presley. McPherson in there. Well, it could have looped anyway, but that for Rangers. ahead of Ian Ferguson, controlled well initially by Presley, here's Stevens. Robertson. Nicely touched by Boris Mirov, taken on here by Semenyev. Fendafilov. because of his generalship on the pitch. That's one of his better passes. And the last minute of the first half, plus stoppage time. Steven just squeezing it through from the court. And waits for Robertson. It was a theatrical fall, and the referee wasn't fooled by it. Bodimirov. The ball trying to get back to him, and given lack of match practice, that was an excellent piece of retrieving by tonight's Rangers captain. Duncan Ferguson and Gerard getting in each other's way, and there's a little cameo of what's aggravating the crowd here. Bodimirov. Todorov. Play on. And Paul does that. Ferguson. Haitley. The chance here for Rangers right on half time. Cross just cut out. There was much better pace in that build up, but there really was from back to front. Everything happened so much quicker. Durant with the corner. Ah! Comes through the crowd. McPherson! In stoppage time at the end of the first half. Morgan is beaten by David McPherson. Well, it always looked the most likely route right from the first minute. Anything put into a decent area was going to cause the Bulgarian's problems. Goalkeeper doesn't clear it. Dave McPherson certainly doesn't hit it very clean. But sometimes it's better just to hit them into the ground with like Davey does there. And just bobbles it into the net because it doesn't matter how they go in. This is a very important goal for Rangers. It all started from the space that Mark Hately found there. Couldn't produce the cross. The goal resulting from the corner. Trendafilov. At the time when Levski had their heads up and were looking for truth for the past five minutes or so, the more likely team to score. But Rangers found the aerial route, really, with a challenge from the corner. And the first to locate the loose ball was Dave McPherson. It papers over some of the cracks for Rangers in the first half. But they go in at half-time at Ibrox, leading Levski Sofia by one goal to nil. If you want to see the best in snooker action, look no further than Sky Sports. A season of eight major ranking tournaments featuring all the big names of the game. Stephen Hendry, John Parrott, Steve Davis and Jimmy White. Daytime and evening coverage of the Scottish Masters starts Wednesday at 2 live on Sky Sports. <laughs> going on here let's look I know it's a long way but what's gonna happen if Mrs. Metcalf doesn't get her milk 
The kids don't get their cornflakes. Dad doesn't get his porridge. And Mum doesn't get a cup of tea. So come on, lads. Look lively. Wouldn't breakfast be a disaster if you didn't have fresh milk delivered every morning? Well, I don't know what you're laughing at. Auntie Ethel's coming to tea. They want two extra. Excuse me, do you remember your first dime? Aye. The first dime bar you ever had. Do you remember it? Aye. Dime bar? Dime bar? Hello? Crisp butter oven covered in smooth milk chocolate, so snap crackingly good. You never forget your first dime. That bloke's a nutter. Oi, nutter! Price check at Gateway is still going strong. This price on top side, I can't go wrong. Look at the saving we've just found. Bananas at 25 pence a pound. 19 pence for this white bread. That's really low. If you want to save money, you know where to go. Cheddar cheese is cheaper, and so is quick routine. Oh, my cat's food. I save 10 p. Now all I need is a nice red wine. Navarro Tinto, 169. Thank goodness the Gateway. Oh, yes, this is a fine service. Excellent forehand, brilliant backhand. Ooh, just inside the line there. Insignia Rio and Olympian, it's a result. Can you tell the difference between surf and higher-priced liquids? Put it to the test on stubborn stains like ketchup, gravy, and butter. No liquid cleans better than surf because it's got all the stain digesters of other liquids. Look, no difference at all except it costs you less. That's the surf difference, and if you're not completely satisfied, we'll give you your money back. Surf. Tackle stains. Cuts costs. When you need some extra milk, just leave a note out. 48 extra silver cups? Are you kidding? No, are you kidding? Weeknights at 6, starting next Monday, Games World's back in a brand new series. Monday! Five contestants fight it out in the Eliminator. Tuesday! Pick up tips in the Joypad with Big Boy Barry. Wednesday! Round two of the Eliminator. I refuse to leave. Thursday! Live night could be coming to your home. Friday! Time to defeat the Vidiators in Beat the Elite. Enter the world of Games World, starting Monday at 6 on Sky One. These are the stars and the movies in October on Sky. Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone. You're dealing with a devious, diabolical mind. Basic instinct. Maybe there's something you're afraid to see. Barbara Streisand and Nick Nolte, the Prince of Tides. Chevy Chase and Daryl Hannah, memoirs of an invisible man. You never quite get over your first love. John Mellencamp and Mariel Hemingway, falling from grace. Chucky's back in Child's Play 3. I'm new and improved. Rod Steiger and John Turturro, men of respect. I have the dream again. Richard Gere, Kim Basinger, final analysis. William Hurt is both patient and the doctor. While Joe Pesci is both landlord and tenant. And from director Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, Nick Naughty and Jessica Lange. To subscribe, ring 0506460000. That's 0506460000. Welcome back to a European Cup night at Highbrook Stadium. 1-0 to Rangers at half-time. Only just, mind you, nine shots, four on target, two from Sofia. None on target as yet. They haven't forced a corner either, which is none too surprising. In the first leg of the European tie. Two bookings. They're lucky still to have 11 men on the park, aren't they? Ali McCoy, star guest tonight, the centre of attention. At half-time, unusually. From both the East and the West enclosures. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best possession, actually, with that <laughs> Super Ali McCoy, 1-0. Just, as Great I said. Great game. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think, um, I think we deserve it. I think for 30, 35 minutes, we totally dominated the game. Perhaps should have scored then. And then for the next eight or nine minutes, looked shaky. Let the Levski Sofia come back into the game. Did a couple of chances. And then we scored the goal sort of slightly against the runner play, but I still think we deserved it. Let's have a look at it. There's a young man behind you looking for his first five minutes of fame. Here's the goal right on half time. We're always causing them one or two problems in the air at the back. And the goalkeeper doesn't get a hold of that here. Big Davy just turns around, it's at his feet. 
and thankfully knocks it into the back of that net. Should the goalkeeper really have been there? Um, I'm not really caring, Richard, I want to say. <laughs> there you are, Big Davey, just turns around there. There it is, nice, lovely. Just about the big man's distance as well. You'd have the best part of half an hour at them. They were growing in stature as Andy Gray was sitting in commentary. That's against the run of playing. Correct. I think when we hadn't scored, I think they had began to get a little bit of uh, belief in themselves and they started to open up a little bit. Co caused us one or two problems at the back. But then, as, as is often the case sometimes, we run up the park and, and score just when you're probably least expecting it. But just really pleased to see it going. Really, we really needed it. Left foot as well. I'm sorry, there's something to say about that, that's for sure. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. the first time I've seen that in two years, actually, that left foot. <laughs> <laughs> what about the chance that Ian Durand had? He should have scored, shouldn't he? He should have done better with it, the wee man. It's just total football. He's not a f he scores some great goals, he really does, but at the same time, he just, he's just total football, and really, he should have a shot at a goal, but I think he thought Big Mark had a tap in. I fancy him just to bend it there, but he, he tries to make it simple for the big man, and of course, his shot is blocked. But um, really, the wee man should have had a shot at goal there. He didn't you, do you'd him fancy him to score. Favors, no, he didn't. Did he? he gave him a, a bad ball, actually. He gave him behind him into the bargain, which didn't help Big Mark. Really, we're, we're looking to score there. Normally, you'd fancy the wee man just to side foot that one away. He's definitely on side, actually. We had another look at it from the other side, and the, the, the linesman did very, very well. But um, that's it's a difficult ball for the big man. And it's a, really, it's a, it's a chance wasted, chance scorned. What about the challenge of Markovs, who'd been booked as he stepped out of the wall? and then launched into a tackle down this side that, that must have been worth a booking at least, which would have resulted in the sending off. He certainly did, and it, my first indication was he must go, but at the same time, I think you've got to give credit to the referee. The referee's booked him. It is, it is a bookable offence. I want to contradict myself. It's a bookable offence, but at the same time, the referee's done him a favour because he was booked a little bit unluckily, I felt, maybe, for coming out the wall. That's, uh, that's a high court job, I never mind the booking. But at the same time, the referee, I think, he knew it was him who they just beat a minute, a minute or two previously, and he's done him a favour there. He could have gone, but at the same time, he'd have been a little bit unlucky to go. What now? That one, is that the start of two, three, four? Well, I don't know. Um, it's important. The one thing we don't want to do, we don't want to lose one, Richard. No. And with ten minutes to go there, there were signs where we could have lost one. We've got to keep it stable at the back, which we, we have been doing for the first half hour, 35 minutes. We can't lose a goal. If it stays at one nothing, one nothing's better than 2 1, remember. So I'm happy it's sitting at one nothing, and we'll see. We'll pick up bits and pieces and hopefully. Because they'll be another. looking for more, right? Oh, we've got to look for more. But you're playing at home, you've got to score as many goals as you can. But in a European tie, playing at the top level, it's just as important not to lose goals at home. You don't want to do that. 1 0 at Ibrox Stadium to Rangers at half time. That really has got them on their toes outside now. Great opening 30, 35 minutes or so. Then Sophia were gaining in stature. Dave McPherson's goal separates the teams right now. Plenty of smiles. That wouldn't have been the case but for that goal right on half time. And the pressure's off, eased. More from Ibrox in a moment or so. So England are back on track for the World Cup Finals, but they'll be watching the next two matches anxiously. Norway, unbeaten on top of the group table, take on Poland, still with an outside chance, while Holland need to get as many as possible past San Marino. It could all go down to goal difference. Exclusively live Wednesday from 6.45 on Sky Sports. How can surf powder clean so well and give you this much more washing for your money? Easy. Surf now comes in a range of bags, so it costs you less. And right now, you get 15% more powder. Surf. Tackle stains, cuts costs. Ugh, burnt milk. Cream cleaner, I think. I think. You flash liquid gel. Liquid gel means I have to do almost nothing. I'll prove it. Put it on, it does the work for you. You mean flash liquid gel just melts it whilst you do nothing? But it's working and you're doing nothing. How did you do that? Nothing to it. On kitchen hobs, kitchen sinks and kitchen worktops. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, it's nothing to it with flash liquid gel. Spice. Feel the friend.
freshness. Hit the spray. Meet Scratchy. Who? Scratchy, he may look pretty ordinary, but he's done something outstanding. What? He's found out how he could win anything from a fiver to ten thousand pounds while sitting in a chair. In a chair? Yeah. How can I do it? Just find a phone, sit down, dial 891 186 and answer a few true or false false statements correctly, and you could win anything from five pounds to ten thousand pounds. Hey, where are you going? To find a phone. Scratch it, the new phone game where you could win up to ten thousand pounds. Just dial 891 186 now. I find your microbes fascinating. You do? They cause the dandruff. So that's why you offered to wash my hair. Why else? But I thought... Actually, I want to wash half in a medicated anti-dandruff shampoo and half in head and shoulders to show that head and shoulders neutralizes more of the microbes that cause dandruff. Look, on this side... Still dandruff. But with head and shoulders... Nothing. Except beautiful hair. How can I thank you? Dinner, perhaps? Not tonight. I'm washing my hair. Head and shoulders. Doesn't half shift dandruff. I used to think a wedding was a simple affair. Dad, I need a man in the room, and we're getting married. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm engaged, I'm getting married! I was wrong. <laughs> Steve Martin is the father of the bride. Hey, what do you think? Bought it at 75 and it still fits. He's in over his head. He's losing his grip. All because there's a new man. But he's like you, Dad. Except he's brilliant. In his little girl's life. My first car didn't cost $1,200. Welcome to the 90s, Mr. Bond. Steve Martin, Diane Keaton, and Martin Short. Drive carefully, and don't forget to fasten your condom. Dad! Seatbelt, I mean. Father of the Bride premieres in the Steve Martin Weekend, coming soon on Sky Movies. Welcome back to Ibrox. 1-0 to Rangers at half-time. They'll need, or well, they'll certainly be looking for more than that in this second half as we rejoin Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Thank you, Richard. The one goal from Davy McPherson. Reward, really, for some very enterprising play, bursting forward from the back whenever the opportunity presented itself. Well, Rangers have conceded 99 goals in the European Cup to date. They won't want it to go to 100 tonight. No substitutions for either side during the half-time break. stoppage time at the end of the first half and, uh, spoiling what was Levski Sofia's best spell of the game and they really looked as though they were believing in themselves and their way of playing and a trip. if it was it wasn't intentional certainly a Rangers throw Haitley being told to get up and get on with it by the referee I think the referee's probably right there Stephen Controls it, Gary Stevens. That's all there. And suddenly he's in a little bit of trouble. It's 
Katanov. Bulgarian left back with a terrific cross. But just for looking in a little bit powder puff in front of Joel Levski, Sofia. I'll tell you what, Dibbys Dresser's got a vital goal, but that was a vital defensive head that he provided there. He was getting applauded by his uh, teammates as Rangers started to put that attack together. Relative to the feet of Vigorash, and came his way by an unexpected route. Well, slap. This time, Blayton in his push into the back of Hatley. Referee's been good tonight, but he's been unfussy. He's just been on with the job. He's been very. Dominant in every decision he's had to make. Durant with the free kick. And he used the hand there. Well, the referee must have seen it. It's a yard or so from him. I think it hit his hand. I think that's more the thing. But it was right on line with the referee. Right on the spot. Robertson with the throw. Shaping for the long run. In towards Haitley. That's when I was a little bit disappointed there. The Mark Caitlin, talking about gambling, the long throw in there. Oh, Ian Ferguson at the edge of the box. I'd just like to have seen him gamble on the Hately, the Hately header. He must know that there's a 90% chance that Mark's going to get a touch on it, and they've just gambled into the box. Hately is 31 now. Been around Europe, of course, in Italy and France. Does, he does still very effectively indeed. And unlike a lot of tall strikers, he's got plenty of pace as well with his aggression. I'm the choice to be the first to pay tribute to the work Mark Haley did in the 50th season together last season. Stephen, lovely play. Durant. Just couldn't find where. Hately was running too. Got him in off. Lost giving chase. Just lost his bearings, Ian Durant, I think, in that situation. A wonderful skill from Trevor Stephen. Brilliant footwork. Tricky Trevor. That's what he was called at Everton, and he's Everton. He's a great feet, Mark. And Durant is a natural talent as well. Just hasn't quite gone for him so far tonight. He won't shirk his responsibility. He's up alongside Haitley, who's beaten in the air. Nice slam jerk this time. Stephen again showing his quality. Another former Everton player, Stuart McCall. And a spinning Spanian play. McCall driving off. Haitley will be in at the far post. Duncan Ferguson! Haitley! The two big men for Rangers who were launching themselves at the course cross when he fancied one of them to score. But it ends up a corner, Martin, but we admire the, the skill of Stuart McCall. Duncan Ferguson's won a fraction of an inch away from it. And the defender just gets a touch before Hately can knock it in. Durant will take the corner. Perhaps getting in Haitley's way. Duncan Ferguson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but he won't come much closer. Well, the one goal tonight from Dave McPherson, who played in all of the European Cup games, all ten of them last season. with the direction of the board ashes run there. Still 1 0 for Rangers. No very important part of the scoreline from their point of view. 
Gremenlia. Spain last season, just for a few months on loan with Valladolid. He played in France, as I said earlier. Certainly demand for Bulgarian players. Risto Stoichkov, perhaps the most famous, with Barcelona. And of course, we've got Poncho Genchev in England with Ipswich. Here's Stevens. Oh, Durant has got time. Probably wasn't told that. Certainly a ball that he could have controlled for himself rather than just help it on. That's what the instincts feel you, I think, as a, an unnatural striker, if you like. Someone like the missing Alan McCoy, I'm sure, would have just brought that down his chest. And, and Gamble, they had a little bit of time. Possessed by Hatley, Ian Ferguson wanting someone on the left. There's no one available. Comes down the other flank through Stevens. McCall for Trevor Stephen. Lovely play from Rangers. Hatley is there in the centre. Morgan Paris, and it breaks Levski's way in the shape of Setanov. had much more polish about it much more I think that's exactly right the two best moves have really made this this match Rangers have been the one that led up to the corner for the goal and that one there where Trevor Stephen got in behind the Sofia defence Borimero Yankov Sotanov coming from left back Oh, struggling to stay with him. Zlatanov with the cross. Spotted away by Stephen Presley. Zlatanov still making these willing runs down the left, although he has been limping and had one spell of treatment. Out by McCall. Held up well by Durant. But he couldn't really give Ian Ferguson much of a chance with the layoff. Tarnoff getting plenty of the ball. Todorov. Well, it is very well poised this tie. The second leg in front of what might be a hostile cry, a crowd in Sofia in two weeks' time. Big stadium. Not a very good pitch, we're led to believe. Not been much rain in Bulgaria. Indeed, it was 30 degrees out there last Saturday. Yeah, the temperatures here tonight, I must say. It's pretty chilly. Todorov. And Afilov not quick enough. Zetanov with a rather laboured and painful prod at the ball. He's certainly struggling. It would be worth exposing him down this side. Stevens has made a run, but Rangers looking left through Stuart McCall. Now Duncan Ferguson. In early, Stephen has come to a more central position. Just wanting to set off and get the glory again. Morgan coming. It drops for David McPherson. Hatley! 2 0. And Mark Hatley makes this one count. Well, it's the inability of the goalkeeper again to deal with the ball in the air. But it's all down to Dean McPherson. You talked about his enterprise in the first half, Martin. He shows it again there. He played the ball, made the run forward. Well, good couldn't deal with it. And look at the lovely little stand-up from David McPherson. And that's what Mark Hatley's all about. This isn't an easy header. It really isn't. He's backing off it. Got away from the goal. He has to put the power in it himself. And he controls the header very well indeed. trying to control the crowd as well. Alar Gascoigne with a bit of sheer leading. His fifth goal this season, it makes him the top scorer now. He was level with Ian Ferguson on four. Well, 
Dave McPherson has scored one and made one. And he is a centre-back. A very progressive one. Rangers once let him go. He grew in stature with hearts. Brought back to Ibrox the last season. Dismissive gesture when players fall and expect three kicks. He is a figure of real authority. Kim Milton, he is happy to be called Kim Milton Nielsen, his full name. cushion and the defensive sense that nothing's been given away in terms of an away goal for Levski Sofia. There's been some pretty build-up play for the Bulgarians. Nothing really concrete around Ali Maxwell's goal. No real cutting edge has been there, has there at all, Mark? They haven't done badly up to about 18, 20 yards, but everything just sort of died a death really up there. be able to last the full 90 minutes that's just what you expect to five the medical men and Jeff Let's see what Lesky would be like if you allowed them time to play they're very good technically they just don't have that good old ingredient Scottish aggression <laughs> with the shot and it was an awkward one in the end dipping Maxwell had to get it up and over just telling his defenders here to put squeeze the ball quicker I think he felt that Boromir had a little bit more time than he deserved and you see how wickedly that ball was dipping he did the right thing for me I'm not sure about collecting it cleanly and push it away going towards the near post trying to flick it on oh and Grigorac had quite a bit to aim at it seemed and Maxwell wants more protection again well he's right to be asking questions this is a poor corner look right along the ground but look at the space that Grigorac finds Stephen for Haitley really would be criminal Martin for Rangers having not been at the best in my opinion but got the two goal lead I feel like they concede one now. Well, let's have a look at Dave McPherson. There he is there, number five. He's knocked it off to Stuart McCall, and he's made the run forward. And by doing that, he's got himself into that position. There he is, completely free in the penalty area. And he's not shown that little bit of enterprise there. The move would have just died out. And Rangers end up with a second goal because of it. Mark Haitley scored it. Davey McPherson has taken up the cudgels for Rangers tonight. Sending the message from the bench. Awkward for Rangers now, 2-0, good position. But there's plenty of time and plenty of appetite, particularly from the crowd, to guide them on, to do more. The risk is, of course, if they do it at the expense of something going wrong at the back. Yeah, I think they don't need to take chances now, do they? They don't need to risk conceding anything. They can just keep playing away, happy with a two-goal lead, and if another one comes, that's great. And if it doesn't, we'll take 2-0. We won't take 2-1, trying to push for a third. Play with their heads as well as their hearts. I think they learned that last year as well. Durant. 
Kowalski lucky for a moment. Stevens with the cross Mulgoon thinking about coming for it, thinking better of it, and then in danger of being left stranded by the power of Duncan Ferguson's header. It was off target in the end, as you saw. That's the tactic they were looking for. Gary Stevens to get forward, look for the diagonal ball, and Duncan Ferguson to be attacking it from wide, which is exactly what he does. He does. But can't just guide it across the face of the goal. This weekend on Sky Sports, there's a sensational football double bill. Arsenal visit Manchester United for Ford Super Sunday in what promises to be the game of the season so far. The crazy gang of Wimbledon are all trying their hardest to get on the score sheet this season and Brian Horton's Manchester City will have their hands full at Sohurst Park on Ford Monday Night Football. Man United Arsenal and Wimbledon Man City exclusively live on Sky Sports. Sun comes up, the day begins And it won't be long to a drinking in Gillette introduces the perfect way to start your shave. Gillette Series Shaving Gel. Advanced lubricants, easy eraser glide, an incredibly smooth shave. There's no better gel than Gillette Series Gel. Gillette, the best of men I'm starving. How did it go? 3-0. Who to? Smells good. What is it? A tasty blend of vegetables and cheese in a crisp crumb. Who won? Veg with veg. I get more food licking a stamp. Vegetable quarter pounders from Country Club Cuisine. Vegetables you can make a man-sized meal of. So, do I have to beat it out of you? What? Oh, yeah, the food's great. I do enjoy these little chats. Only the tastiest vegetables pass the bird's eye. The best thing about knickknacks is they look like... No, the best thing is the flavour that hits you like. No, because they look like... Knickknacks, they look. But they taste. Labradors are very, very hearty eaters, and they need a good hearty meal. Top breeder Glenda Crook recommends pedigree chum select cuts. It looks really appetizing. It's full of big, meaty chunks covered in a lovely gravy, which is vitamin enriched. They really get the teeth into it, and they wolf it down. It looks good, it smells good, and they just love it. They're full of energy, and they look really great on it. I think it's the best meaty food for my dogs. Pedigree chum select cuts. Top breeders recommend it. When you work for the firm, no lawyer has ever left your law firm alive. You're theirs. Get out of there! They know! Get out! For life. The firm. Throughout the day, your clothes pick up all sorts of dirt and odors. Ordinary big bottle liquids only get out ordinary dirt and can fade colors. New Radion Color has a bleach-free cleaning system that tackles tough stains and odors without fading colors, giving a fresh, bright clean. Get more out. Put New Radion Color in. What in the world is Nickelodeon? Nick is Kids, an entire TV channel dedicated to kids. With no boring documentaries, but real-life action game shows. No boring party political broadcasts, but guts. Real competition. Forget the foreign films, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. And Nickelodeon's on Sky and Cable. Want to know more? Just call your local cable operator. Nickelodeon every day, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. Welcome aboard. I used to spend my time waiting for the big one. The one they call the real McCoy. Star 
Star Trek, the next generation. This is not just number one, it's simply sensational. Sensational. Paradise Beach. Star One. Secret police when the regime was much more rigid in Bulgaria. A great deal of freedom now, and I must say it shows in the way they conduct themselves. They're looking for a bit of attacking freedom now in the footballing sense, and they want to make a change. Take off record Ash. Hatred. by Markov. Cover was there in the shape of Hookchev, the sweeper. Left-wing magic from Duncan Ferguson. Robertson. Oh, came back his way. And it ends up as a goal kick. And that will allow Levski to make the change. On will come Georgi Ivanov to replace the Romanian Grigorash. Walter Smith's come down to the, the dugout mark and now he's on back up to take his seat in the stand. It may be that he's decided he's going to make a change as well. Looks to me that little Johnny Morrow's coming. He's, he's coming on. Bumbled over. 20 minutes to go. 2-0 to Rangers. Ball from McPherson and Hatley. Fetanov with a teasing ball in there. McPherson made it his. That's as good a delivery as you'll see tonight. It really was from a set piece. Oh. Hatley coming back to help out. Sometimes forwards can be a real nuisance in those areas really understanding the basic principles of defending that Mark Hayley did rather well. And he's still in his right position when Harry Stevens looks to hit him. Greater physical strength about Rangers in their play than Levski. who have been pretty in their work at times, but not punchy. Durant. Down. 
managers concentrating on going forward or concentrating may be the wrong word. And they're waiting really for the referee to let the Bulgarian medical party on. Followed off down on the edge of the centre circle. He's a bit Stuart McCall. The referee, Mark, I think what he's indicating is the, the tackle on Todorov a little bit earlier. Although he let it go and played the advantage, he didn't forget about it because Stuart McCall has just found himself in the referee's notebook. This is it here, I think. As you'll see, as Todorov takes the ball away, Stuart McCall comes in. Catches him on the instep, and it didn't look that vicious, did it? Well, the game will be restarted with a drop ball. John Morrow waiting for the chance to come on. He is one of... Uh, the assimilated players here, comes from Northern Ireland, indeed has been in the full international squad. Although very rarely recently because of injury in the Rangers squad. He played on Saturday against Partick, which was his first senior appearance for almost two years. He's a winger. Steven. Cut off by Slavchev. And Dapilov. Tonight. Oh, slipped by McPherson. First thing that's really gone wrong for him tonight, Bori Mirov hit the shot. And Maxwell kept it out. And kept the shutout going that Rangers so badly won. Well, he's been a hero most of the night, Dave McPherson, but this slip could really have been costly. He thinks he's got time, just loses his footing. And for like the first time tonight, Ali Maxwell's called upon to make a very important save. And when he needs a bit of luck for the ball just to drop to safety, he gets it. Bonnie Mirov is a midfield player with an eye for goal. Durant, technically improvising. And again. Hatley, Durant chasing. The Rangers will make their substitution. John Morrow comes on. It hasn't been the happiest of nights for Ian Durant. Well, Morrow certainly caught the eye with his display here on Saturday against Partick. Pleased to be back. He very nearly missed the kickoff because he'd been suffering with blistered feet and they were being strapped up <laughs> as the team went out without him. And when you've been out of the side for almost two years, that can be... Uh, very worrying moment. And here is Morrow from Ferguson's header. Well, what an opening that would have been for John Morrow. First touch, back in the net. But even from the cross, I think you you see here the thing that was worrying Walter Smith about playing both Mark Cately and Duncan Ferguson, both basically getting involved in the same area. But Ferguson obviously gave a good call. And that looks a bad miss from that range, doesn't it? But he's cold, he's only just got on. And he's not really on to head goals, to be fair to him. But <laughs> nevertheless, when the chance comes, you hope you take it. And Morrow couldn't do that. Steven's really given a lot of chance there, even off working back. Yankov. Mirov wants to shoot again, and the call stopping it the first time. Yankov is there, still Boris Mirov, nicely played. 
Nakano. Very courageous here. But on the spot again with McPherson. Morrow keeps it in play, but then finds he has to chase it himself. Markov. Oh. The interception. Stevens picking out Haitley. Here's Robertson. And from Ferguson to the left. Morrow through the middle. Robertson finding some real acceleration, but not finding a teammate with a pass. Ferguson covering well into that left back slot if required as Robertson makes his way to the back line. You've got to be with us surely on our Super Sunday this coming Sunday. Manchester United against Arsenal. I see I need to say really no more than the names of the two clubs live from the FA Carling Premiership. that it had been saved by Maxwell but Body Mirov who's looked threatening from midfield and there's an away goal here to dampen the atmosphere at Ibrox Maxwell couldn't keep it out it's 2-1 well this is criminal it really is giving a goal away at such a late stage it's in a, in a very dangerous area Body Mirov really does climb very well for it whether David Robinson could have done a little bit more to make the header more difficult. It's a difficult one for Ali Maxwell to deal with. The bounce is about a yard in front of him. And he's unable to push it round the post, but that's a real blow. Two-one. And a major change in the atmosphere here and the balance of power in this tie. to stay like this of course then a 1-0 Levski win in Sofia in the second leg would be enough it's amazing man. just at the time I was just thinking it's a difficult time for Rangers now because whether to go and look for that third that I felt would have killed them totally or whether to stay at two where they look fairly comfortable Stevens Haitley for Rangers even in the European Cup campaign last season and it's the first time they've got three in any competitive match this season and how they needed it here and how grateful they are to Mark Haitley for supplying it well it's a great ball in from Danny Stevens Haitley pulls behind his marker he doesn't really know much about that mark he's guiding it towards the goal he's gambling on the goalkeeper being off his line you see that it's a most difficult angle Morgan obliges by being a little off his line. And that's a vital goal for Rangers. Well, within seconds of absorbing the blow of losing a goal, they've reacted to widen the gap to two again. Maxwell has to make a save. Body Mirov has been the one Bulgarian player who has looked to be direct in his work he scored the goal he's troubled Ali Maxwell particularly in the second half but Mark Haitley is having a bigger say ten minutes to go 3-1 thinking of nothing else but putting this in the mixer as they say we've got the three big boys up and that's a wasted opportunity for me Presley giving away they turn off body made off McCall nicely done tomorrow Ferguson coming in from the left-hand side is offside, according to the linesman. Well, two goals in quick succession here. Two goals in very quick succession. This is about the third ball they've played from this left side. It's been a really dangerous ball. Dean McPherson dealt with the first two, but they bypassed him this time. And Boris Milov provided a fine header. 
but this one was even better in my book. Really difficult angle, Mark Hately finds himself. He's only helping it on. He's gambling the goalkeepers off his line, and he gets his reward. Here's Kandapi Loss. Maxwell's got to kick it, and he does that, and well. Tommy Miros. Anthony Ferguson falling. Ben Enliev can cross it. Oh, turn it off! 3-2! an amazing game here in the European Cup. Eight minutes to go, and Rangers leak again. Well, you can't believe what's happened in the last five minutes. Duncan Ferguson slips. Premelief provides the cross, and Maxwell this time has absolutely no chance. Todorov gets in front of Gary Stevens. And Maxwell can do absolutely nothing about this. It just shows you if you put crosses into dangerous areas, how difficult they are to deal with. Well, we said all along that Rangers, in preparing for this game, did not underestimate Levski Sofia. But out on the pitch, there have been some shortcomings defensively by Rangers on a night when they've done well to get three goals of their own. Robertson, can they make it four here? Headed out by Zetanov. Here's Presley. That's a generic challenge by Markov on the call. Number 12 and number 5 for Lesky. Getting a second challenge as well, Andy. Sorry. Can't help thinking that Walter Smith will be absolutely furious, Mark. Cruising at 2 0. I mean, cruising. Concede a goal, but go two goals ahead again, and then concede another one. I don't think they'll be very happy at the moment. Yeah. Smith and the blazer there. Very reflective. The Rangers have been so used to trailblazing domestically have been out of sorts in the Premier League. There has been progress in the League Cup, of course, towards the semi-finals, but not without a scare or two along the way. Taken to extra time here by Aberdeen in the quarter-final. So, in truth, the signs for tonight weren't altogether promising for Walter Smith's side. First, Dressley. and stewardship here in midfield. Morrow, not too much weight to throw about in the centre. But it's been a rattling good European Cup tie first round, first leg. Markov, taking the safe way out for Levski. But Robertson can hurl another one here, an all-night Bulgarians are not beatable in the air. Borimirov. Throw to Rangers. Five minutes to go. Ian Ferguson. Ferguson to get his first goal for Rangers. He's one of the pack waiting in the centre. Presley's come up as well. More convincing that time. That's not the area to be delivering a, a corner into. When a team's looked to be having problems every time with the defending crosses. Been comparisons made with 
Sparta Prague, who put Rangers out in the first round two years ago. Leski Sofia, absolutely delighted to get two goals here at Ibrox, though they're trailing. They're still very much in the tie. For the second goal. Looking for Tendafilov. Here's McPherson. Haitley. Duncan Ferguson. Trying to get the cross in quickly. Markov beating Morrow. Haitley is on a hat trick, of course. Actually, Andy, the last time a Rangers player got a hat-trick in a European Cup tie was the last time you and I commentated on one, which was against Valletta. <laughs> Morris Johnston that night. Well, I dearly love another goal. Rangers now, Mark, and I can't believe it. A time in this match, I thought they were really in control, cruising at home at 2-0 up, thinking this tie's almost over. It just shows you what an amazing game this football is. McCall. Here's Morrow. Hately pulling to the left-hand side. Cross goes up Jeff. Levski Sofia came here clearly to make a game of it, and not just to uh, fill our own penalty area for 90 minutes. Oops, that's a stray one from Kondafilov, who rather got underneath it. 90 seconds or so left for Rangers. To try and widen the margin to two. They had it at 2-0, they had it at 3-1. Can they make it 4-2? useful one it's McPherson goalkeeper right back onto his line as he's taken it over his line and he's given an indirect free kick against the goalkeeper Rangers think they've taken it and scored there's no offside at it for no sure. I mean you think you can see that and then McPherson and yeah whether he feels that the the goalkeeper throws the ball down and then I think he's not entitled to pick it back up again. After it's bounced. After it's bounced. So therefore, the referee quite rightly, quite legitimately, has given an indirect free kick. Is he now going to reach for his pocket for a card? It looks like Todorov that that was brandished at. I mean, you could see the goalkeeper was struggling, backing off Martin. Had he not let go of the ball, he might well have carried it over the line. I think that was his major concern. But had that bounced and he volleyed it clear, then not, of course, the Bulgarians would have been OK. An extraordinary evening is having an extraordinary ending. Well, I've got to go back on the line now. Todorov's come across to the linesman to try and talk to him. Now he's gone back on to his goal line here how do you police this eh? well normally you would expect the goalkeeper to try and get out in front Morgun is just standing in the line well they're going to charge it aren't they and they do for Ian Ferguson well they've survived we're into stoppage time now. Presley, the goalkeeper comes, the flag is up, Morgan again. I wonder whether he'll be the goalkeeper in the second leg. They've got one <laughs> or two other options. Levski Sofia. He's had an adventure all of his own tonight. Free kick for offside. But people may think that you should be scoring from this, but that's the most difficult thing. Look at the bodies that you have to go through. And look at the goalkeeper. He's been flattened by his own teammates. I think his teammates felt that they've got more chance of saving it than he had. <laughs> so let's get in front of him quick. But it isn't easy to get a goal out of a situation like that. There's Rangers found there. Ivanov. 
Back comes Morrow, busily. Stevens, game not over yet. Borimirov, one of the scorers for Levski. Todor off the other. Ivanov, referee looks at his watch. Well, sometimes the first leg of European ties can be stale and sterile. This has been just the opposite of that. And after a tentative start, Levski Sofia believed that they could find some gaps in the Rangers' plan. They've certainly done that in the latter stages. But Rangers have been scoring as well as shipping goals tonight. Danish referee, just by Chandapilov in any case. And a little time for Rangers to get the ball to the other end of Ibrox Stadium in the few seconds that remain. Maybe there is. Can't remember too many stoppages in the second half. Just that moment when the call was booked. Call again. Goes for Jeff Morrow. Well, it's not a game to leave early, this one. Over Duncan Ferguson. Trevor Stephen hooks it in and not into the net, only into the gloves of Morgun. Well, Levski thinking about using up a few more seconds by bringing on a substitute here. They've got a player down injured. A continental trait, that isn't it? Late on in a game, just to break it up, use up precious seconds. Well, they can't do that because the game is over. Rangers have just a one-goal lead here an eventful evening at Ibrox to take to Sofia for the second leg in two weeks' time. Two goals here for Mark Hayfley after the first from Dave McPherson in stoppage time at the end of the first half. The game really coming alive.